for the sign of Sagittarius, hello and welcome to my channel. So, Sagittarius, the recent past energy between you and your person, we got the Fool card, and it's with the Queen of Pentacles. Now, the Fool card is an indicator of newness in one form or another. In many ways, it indicates the purity, the open-hearted energy, and the innocence of a child. Children, they're trusting, and trust forms the basis of meaning for this card. This is considered a positive card, but as you can see by looking at the picture, it's important to take time to be sure that you're looking where you're going. Because if you trust yourself to take a step into the unknown, that's one thing. But doing so without any thought whatsoever, it can be a big mistake. Now it's with the Queen of Pentacles, which is a card that can indicate that you could be spending money, time, energy on your home, getting it to be more comfortable. This is a good thing, provided you do not take on too much debt, because people could be looking to you for insight or advice. You'll be able to help them if you decide to do so. This is a time period when you can get a whole lot accomplished. So, Sagittarius, what I'm picking up on with this recent past energy between you and your person is that you went back and forth between wanting to take a leap of faith towards this person, towards a connection, and then the other part of you would decide to fall back and just take comfort and joy in just what you know. Like she's taking, you see the Queen of Pentacles is the card below the word pass. She's just taking joy and comfort in the ordinary things. She's in her backyard in a lounge chair. She's got her dog keeping her toes warm. And she's feeding the squirrels and the, the birds that come by and talk to her every day. But part of you wanted to, to just jump right on into this person. Take a leap of faith towards a, a relationship or coming together with this person. So you went back and forth. Should I just stick to my comfort zone? What I know is safe and keeps me at a peaceful place. Or should I just jump right on in and take a leap of faith towards this person? You went back and forth, back and forth. Should I or shouldn't I? You wanted to, but then you said, oh no, I'll just stay in my backyard and feed the birds and the squirrels. But that's the recent past energy, dealing with the person that you're connected to now. But let's see what's coming up for the two of you. So we got the Seven of Swords and with the Ace of Pentacles. Now the Seven of Swords can be about someone behaving with less than ethical intentions. If you feel like someone is spying on you, then you could be right. Or if you feel tempted to dig through someone else's life. Unless it's that of your minor child who's giving you cause for concern, then you just might want to re rethink the impulse because we all know that everyone deserves privacy. Now it's with the Ace of Pentacles. Ace of Pentacles, you can find yourself enjoying new beginnings on several levels. And these are very positive new beginnings, so you're likely to be feeling optimistic, upbeat, hopeful about the future. Things should be going well. And you could be also be starting something new very soon. This could be in the area of work, or it could be personally, but either way, it's a really good thing when you get the Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, if you're in a committed relationship, 
it rises to new and better heights. The two of you will reconnect. And if you're looking for love, it's a positive time to get out because you'll meet new people that could start something very promising in terms of love. So, coming up, Sagittarius, the Seven of Swords clarified by the Ace of Pentacles. So yeah, like I said, you you went you went back and forth, and you probably still do. You probably want to take a leap of faith towards this person, but the other half of you says no. Just stay in your comfort zone. Just sit there. So you go back and forth in your head. But coming up though, Seven of Swords is saying it's it's an indication that your person they. They, they watch you. They could be stalking you, keeping tabs on you. Not in a bad way, though. It's because they want a new, they want to start something with you. They want to get something started. This person does want a new beginning with you. And if it's someone that you already know, they want the two of you to reconnect. Or maybe take the connection to the next level. Just know that they... They're keeping tabs on you. Yeah, they do want something with you. So, let's see what the challenge is. We got this King of Pentacles. And it's with the Moon card. Now, the King of Pentacles, it speaks of authority, tradition, and success in money matters. When this card appears in a reading, it's a sign that now is not the time to be a maverick. But it's actually the time to follow the established way of doing things. So when he stands for an actual person in your life, it can refer to a very masculine type. Could have dark hair, dark eyes, but it could go either way. If it's referring to a man in your life, just know that this is a man who you can believe and trust in absolutely. It's with the moon card. The moon card, you could feel psychic intuitive more than usual so it's important for you to trust your instincts even if you're not sure where it's coming from also not that you need to be mistrusting but it's going to be helpful for you to realize that when this card appears it's possible that all is not what it seems and if you feel you cannot trust someone then you probably cannot you have to go with your gut instincts and if you're waiting on an answer from someone or something, it may unfortunately take longer than you would like for it to. So when you get the moon card, you kind of have to try to stay patient. So your challenge, Sagittarius, the King of Pentacles, clarified by the moon. Yeah, so what I'm getting here is that you could feel like your person has secrets with the moon card showing up here you could feel like sometimes they're they're wearing a mask or they're being deceptive or maybe you just feel like they hold back and you and it makes you feel like you can't trust them but yeah you do want success with this person the king of pinnacles is about having success you want success with them, but you just, for some reason or another, you feel like you can't trust the person or you, you don't trust that the connection will be stable or something about maybe you feel like they, they keep secrets. Something is, um, you feel like something is hidden or, or you just feel like they hold back. But yeah, you want success with this person. Um, you want something stable, secure, and committed with them. But let's move on over. Let's see what the outcome is. We've got the lovers and the king of wands. Now the lovers is beautiful. It's associated with the astrological sign of Gemini the twins. It's possible that when this card appears, you could start to feel ambivalent about a relationship or a situation. It could be that your heart is telling you one thing. And your head is telling you another. 
Now, the thing to do within the bounds of your morality is to follow your heart. Some people say that there are only two modes that we operate under at a time, and that's either fear or love. But when you can, it's saying it's safe to choose love when you get the lover's card. Because it's a time when love is brought to you in big, bold, capital letters to the center stage of your life. So this could be a new relationship or powerful rebonding of an old one. Either way, you'll be really happy about how romance is going. That's what the lover's card is about. Now it's with the king of wands. The king of wands can indicate a man who can have hair on the lighter end of the spectrum, but... They could go either way. This person would want to serve as a mentor for you. The King of Wands is positive. When he does not represent an actual person in your life, it can signify that you have a lot of men around you, or just men around you, who are support supportive of you and they think well of you. So you'll be feeling ambitious, goal-oriented, and you'll have the will to accomplish whatever you have in mind. So, Sagittarius, the outcome lovers clarified by King of Wands. So, yeah, what's interesting is that you both know that this is a deep connection. Because the lovers card is about, it's about a union. It's about coming together. It's a deep love, uh, a partnership. It's the strength of two. Um, this lover's card can be a strong soulmate or a twin flame. And you both know what this is. You both know it's a deep connection. Yeah, some type of coming together. They know it and you know it. Yeah. And the King of Wands is about having caring and protective feelings. So what I'm getting is the outcome is, is, is indicating that you could still be kind of like maybe just still kind of um, torn between being indecisive because you might feel you know this is a soulmate or a deep connection or maybe even a twin flame you already know that and they know it but it seems like you want to protect your feelings yeah you care about this person but you want to protect your feelings like the king of wands has caring and protective feelings but you want to protect your feelings. And yeah, you want, that's why you go back and forth. One minute you want to jump in and then the next minute you say, oh no. You feel like not enough is known. There's too, too many secrets. Or you could feel like this person. For some of you, you feel like they, they might be lying to you. But they do want a new beginning with you. Ace of Pentacles is all about a new beginning, fresh new start. 